My last project was kind of a fail. I wanted to create this stone and brass bowl. and Look how much it is. Ah! Let's see, I got these two bowls from Dollar Tree. I liked the shape of the bowl and it has this lip that is flat right here. And then I found this bowl in my craft stash. It's an old Halloween bowl. I figured this would go good pairing it up like this. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of design on the rim. So I use a combination of E6000 and hot glue. I really put that E6000 on there pretty liberally. That way I know it was gonna stick to this plastic. The hot glue also helps the glass stick to the plastic. Once those pieces have dried together, it's now one piece, we can go ahead and with our silicone caulk and we're just gonna go ahead and go right into that seam. Go all the way around. This will help the piece look seamless and like it's one solid piece. After you're done, don't forget to go in with a wet finger and smooth out the silicone. Now I'm going to get some cotton balls, some flour, oops, and some Elmer's glue. I'm just gonna use the other bowl that I have and mix up some glue, flour, and some water. All right, then just gonna add some water. I just added in a little bit of water, and then I'll just take my brush and stir all of this around, creating like a paste. Then I'm just gonna dip my cotton balls inside the mixture, and re kind of shape it into its ball form. And then on this bowl, we're just going to stick it right onto the bowl. Trying to make sure there's no like weird drips. And you can get Elmer's glue and flour from Dollar Tree and you can get cotton balls from Dollar Tree as well if you wanted to do this project. The glass bowl I have on this was from Kroger a couple years ago, but you can always find something similar at Dollar Tree. Just a smaller bowl will work. It does not need to be glass or ceramic. You can use plastic. And I'm just gonna go around the whole thing with this, with these cotton balls. And I'm kind of pushing the cotton balls like in, just to make a smaller cotton ball, I guess. This is just gonna be a decorative bowl. Definitely not using this like for anything specific. I'm not gonna put food in this. I think that looks, you know, good. I'm not mad at it. So I only use like 13 cotton balls, give or take. And I brought the camera down so you guys could see this a bit better. This is gonna be what it looks like. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> I think it looks so cute. All right, let's let this dry and then we're gonna paint. I decided to go with a metallic gold spray paint. All right, here it is all spray painted. You can see where the Happy Halloween writing is still on this bowl, which I honestly don't know why I thought it would have just covered it. However, it did not work that way. So now I'm just taking black with a midnight blue color, as well as some gold paint. I'm gonna mix these together in this little bowl here. I accidentally dumped the golden. However, it did work out in my favor. It gave a lots of shine, but still kept the color very dark. And then I went ahead and painted the cotton ball this color. Okay, so a few things I wanted to point out. You can still see the words right here on the glass that I use. So if I actually just smeared some of this caulking straight over it and smoothed it out, probably would have covered up the wording. Not a big deal though. And then over here is where I had got some of that paste kind of stuck onto the bowl. When I spray painted it, I didn't realize that it was on the bowl. So it is not the best project but this could definitely be 
implemented a little bit better and look gorgeous. I think it's really unique how I combined two projects or two high-end home decor pieces I saw on McGee & Co's website. Combined two different bowls and created my own unique high-end looking one. It's definitely very unique. 